beautiful people of the interwebs. Thank you for joining me on this little watercolor adventure. Today I decided to get out of the house and do some sketching from life reference. And if you're anything like me, you've been hibernating since New Year's. <laughs> and I'm still waiting for spring to arrive in full. Not as many flowers were in bloom as I had hoped for, but I found these lovely yellow daffodils and thought I would give it a go. Lately, I've been feeling on the verge of being burnt out and rather than getting frustrated and forcing myself to finish a painting that I've already started, I decided to change things up and do some no pressure sketches in my new red moleskin art sketchbook. It has more of a multimedia paper inside. I'm not exactly sure on the paper type, but it's not watercolor paper. So this takes the pressure off me even more to create something quote unquote good. It's so easy to fall into the habit of creating under a strict set of self-imposed expectations. We always want to be making good work and we always are our own worst critics. I mean, artists, I think in general, just tend to be so hard on themselves. But I think it's really important to recognize the ups and downs of being a creative, as well as just life as a human being. We're not machines. And I think it's both important and healthy to listen to your inner creative voice. The changing of the seasons this year has been very up and down for me. Some days I feel energized and focused, and it could just be that latte I had earlier. But other days I cannot seem to shake off the brain fog and I'm just falling asleep sitting at my desk. So rather than dive into a negative spiral of self-criticism and feeling like, oh, I'm not being productive enough, or I'm not making enough art, etc., I'm really trying my best to redirect whatever energy I have into just making something. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to get a ton of likes on social media, although that would be nice. It just has to be some time spent each day creating and exercising that artistic muscle and just maintaining the practice of making art. And I don't actually paint every day, but I try to. Sometimes, you know, things get in the way and hectic schedule stuff comes up and I don't actually get to paint. But for the most part, I try to make something every day, even if it's just a quick sketch in my sketchbook that I never show anybody. And I just feel like that helps keep the momentum going and that habit going. And I feel weird when I don't paint. Like if a whole day goes by and I'm like, oh my gosh, I never painted today. It's, it feels like I missed something. I guess what I'm trying to say is that just doing something is better than nothing. I think we should not have such strict expectations of ourselves in regards to performing and producing artwork. I think the more you force it in like an uncomfortable way, the, the more likely you are to burn out eventually. And for me, making art is not a sprint. I'm not in this for a week. I want to be doing this for the rest of my life. So I really need to be careful about burning out and losing that creative spark. And of course, everyone is different. Everyone is in a different place in their creative journey. And I always imagine myself like doing this crazy all nighter where I'm just like painting sheets and sheets of paintings, but that never ever actually happens. I don't like staying up all night. I don't have the energy and focus to paint continuously for like eight hours straight. Usually I paint for an hour or two and then I take a break and then I'm, I go and I do something else. I, I think you know, we just have to know ourselves and we need to be kind to ourselves and remember that, you know, this is for the long haul. It's not like cramming for midterms and then you're going to get a break. And maybe that is what your creative life is like. You know, you 
have spurts of high activity and then you take a break for a while. And that's okay too. But just doing what feels right for you and and your art and what's working with your life is important and not comparing yourself to what the next person is doing. Because you don't really know what their situation is like or how long they've been doing it or the shit they had to go through to get where they are now. So just focus on doing your thing, whatever that is, and making stuff that matters to you because it will resonate with somebody else. If you are making art that is important to you and that matters to you and that speaks to your heart, it will connect with others. I'm not really sure what else to say. I didn't really have a plan going into this video. I just thought it was a beautiful day and I wanted to share my little sketching outing. Maybe I should talk a little bit about my piece. I was really trying to keep it loose and fun and not worry too much about staying in the lines or capturing a perfect lightness. I just wanted that like sunny, bright feeling of daffodils. And I think, you know, I let the paint bleed. I intentionally worked wet and wet, especially for that first wash just to get some color on the page. And that's also why I use some splatter, which I think is a really fun technique, especially for sketches like this. I think that's all I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you to get out and do some painting of your own. I do a live stream on Thursdays at 4 p.m. and on Sundays at noon. That's Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in that, please join me over on Instagram and I always do an announcement post as well as a reminder countdown in my stories. And you can find me at Amy Gilio Art. I will of course put all of the links to all of my social media and everything below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care, bye bye.